boring as it's going to be. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Coach Meyer it. talked about um, wanting to get the best 11 on the field, which right. includes J.K. and Mike. How do you, um, are you guys doing that yet, starting to implement that yet, or how do you do it? I don't know. Ask the head coach said, ask him. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, he did. He, well, he was uh, No, I'm playing. Um, no, we got some packages we're, we're looking at, and we'll see if we can't we can get them on the field together. But they're two dynamic players. We think they're two of our best playmakers on offense. And um, so it'll be who wants to try to get them on the field at the same time. So not sitting there look, watching like me. Can you do that in one in one week? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You can tweak some things. And, you know, every week you're, you're, you're implementing new stuff anyway. So, yeah, absolutely, we absolutely can do that. I know J.K. wasn't here last year, but you did run quite a bit with Mike and Curtis Samuel in the game together. Right. So the plays are, I mean, Mike. Exactly. So I, that just goes to show it can be done. And it can be done rapidly, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's just a matter of how we want to, you know, how we want to use those pieces in, in the chess game. And um, so, you know, we're still talking about it. It's still early in the week, so we're still talking about it. It's more the beauty of the situation though, that you have two backs, like Urban was saying. He's never had two backs that complement themselves like these two guys do. I mean, two Class A backs. Is, does it allow you to keep, uh, more than anything else, to keep a fresh guy? Absolutely, it does. It does. It allows you to uh, keep guys fresh. And, and the real cool thing is they, they're, they're real tight. Yeah. And, and uh, they're real good friends. They champion each other's efforts. And, but it does. It, it allows us to keep guys fresh. And um, and they, they both have they have some similar skill sets, but they also have some very different skill sets that they can that they can use and be dangerous in their own right. So yeah, it's a, it's a good uh, it's a good problem if you were to have. Tony, you were your running back back in the day, right? Uh, if that's what you call it. Yeah, no, I guess. You don't you don't you don't me. <laughs> uh, but how much do you, you know? I, w I would think you have to have almost an ego to play that position because number I one, you get so. hit. You know, yeah, but but yeah. then number two, how, how do you how do you stay close friends when you're competing for a spot? Are you do you feel like these guys are com competing for a spot? Oh, yeah, they're competing every day. Yeah. And, and um, that's also the culture that's in our locker room. It's the culture that we've, that we've uh, forged with this program. And, and there's competition every single day when you walk in this building. But that's that's life, isn't it? I mean, you're competing every day when you walk out of this building too, for jobs and, and everything else. And uh, so, yeah, there, there's a competitive nature and, and um, it's a competitive situation that we always have. But and, but I think you do have to have somewhat of an ego, if you will. But but also when I say that, not in a bad way. Yeah. You know, be very highly confident guys, which they are in their abilities, and, and they want to play, they want to help this team. And um, but I think again, it's it's a culture that's fostered in the room. It's a culture that's fostered in the locker room, and it starts with the head football coach, and, and those guys have all bought in. Hey Tony, you kind of alluded to it. Usually, when a team has two running backs, you have a lightning and a thunder, but your two guys are storm fronts and unto themselves. What? What the, how much more can you do because they are so versatile and have a little explosiveness and a little well it allows you to, it, it. it does it allows it, you can't hone in on one thing and say okay well he's in the game so they're going to run wheel routes or, or they're not they're in a passing situation they both they're both willing combatants as far as it goes when they block they both can run they both can catch so it's good I mean so you can't really if they come in the game you really can't pinpoint it's, this is exactly what they're doing when this guy comes in so it's, it's again it's, it's, it's a good luxury to have no, it can't be forecast huh I know it's, I, you, guys, I, do you guys learn analogy. that do you guys learn those type of words that you're like whatever you guys do in your in your journalism school yeah, that's that's, that was good thank you Tony uh, speaking, <laughs> of wheel, speaking of wheel routes uh, uh, Mario had a nice play yeah. for touchdown how close is he to being well, not just a guy that comes in at the end but a guy who can be a real factor well, he's still, you know, he's still bad. He's got to get, he's got to get better. So, he's still, you know, he's just, he's still a little small in comparison, yeah. and into those guys, and we got to still work on some things as far as pass pro and some things like that. And he's still trying to get back healthy. You know, he's not there. Oh, he's, uh, he's, I think he's pretty close. You'd have to ask him, but, but I think he's getting along, coming along pretty well. And um, but he's not all the way back either. So, so it's, uh, we got a few weapons. Speaking of getting healthy, how hard. To